Hey, Josh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, no problem. At uh, Michigan, you played both on and off the line linebacker. I was just curious if you have a preference or one that you feel more comfortable doing. I know that pass rushing seems to be something that you're really good at. There's really no preference, you know, at Michigan, Coach Brown had to do a you know, multitude of things, so it just really depends on the game plan, whatever's needed of me, you know, I, I got to get the job done. I also wanted to ask you, there was a, a play against Penn State uh, last year, I believe it was, where you ran the team with K.J. Hamler. Do you, do you remember the play, and if you could, just uh, anything that you remember about it? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it was a very unique play, you know, playing off ball back here. And, uh, you know, just the game plan was to kind of force any, you know, dig route, you know, in front of me. So I just remember KJ, you know, running really a sluggo, which kind of made me stop and start my feet. You know, it made me stop and play the dig. And then he just took off. He booked it down the scene. And, you know, my responsibility was to carry anything vertical. And I just remember just, you know, running as fast as I could and playing late hands. You know, just like as soon as his hands went up, just playing through his hands and, you know, keeping my composure. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Uh, next question, Mike Giardi, followed by Steve Sanchez. Congratulations, Josh. I'm just curious. Thank I'm, you just so curious much. I'm curious from your standpoint, you know, you, you played about a half a snap last year from Michigan, but when you got to the senior bowl, it seemed like we got to see you do more. Was that a true representation, you believe, of who you are as a player, some of the stuff that they allowed you to do at the senior bowl? I mean, definitely. The stuff I did at Michigan is a representation of myself as well, you know. Um, yep. You know, the senior bowl, there's, you know, there wasn't really any restrictions or anything like that. You know, I just got to be me and, you know, just I got a lot more opportunities and, and, and things like that. You know, but I, I had opportunities at Michigan too, you know. So I feel like both really allowed me to showcase who I am as a person and as a player, you know. So they were both very, very good experiences for me and helped me get to this point. Thanks, sir. Next question, Steve Sanchez, followed by Mike Lee. How you doing, Josh? Welcome to New England. Thank you so much. And I hope you and your family are doing well. We're doing good, yes, sir. Uh, Josh, I just want to say that was a pretty emotional moment, uh, you know, for you and your family uh, being selected. Um, Conference recording started. I just want to know, um, you know, as a player, you know, it wasn't the way you probably you, you know, wanted it to be in college, but then you came on strong at the end. Just tell me how much hard work it took for you to get to this point. It took everything in me. You know, it took a lot of faith, a lot of prayer, blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, um, when things got hard, you know, of course, the thoughts of transferring and, you know, giving up started to creep in, but, you know, I stood 10 toes down. And um, I just continued to fight and claw for an opportunity. And when my opportunity came, I made sure I was ready and I made sure I executed. And I made sure I kept making plays so I could keep getting more chances. And um, I just took every play, every snap like it was my last. And, you know, and, uh, and that's what got me to the point I am today. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. I appreciate you. Our next question, Mike Lee, followed by Mike Picardia. Yeah. Hey, Josh, uh, what is your connection like with Chase? Winovich, and uh, have you guys had a chance to connect since um, you've been, now you're going to be teammates again? Yeah, I mean, that was my boy when he was at Michigan. I remember before every game, we talked about, you know, what techniques we were going to use to beat the tackles that week. You know, we just always go over some motions and practice and, okay, this move is going to work on this guy. I feel like this guy struggles with this move. And, um, you know, it's just great to be able to have that, you know, chemistry back possibly and, I mean, he's just a great guy. High motor, high character, high effort guy. And, you know, he's just a really good human being. Yeah, welcome, Josh, to New England. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you wanted very much. To, kind of wanted to follow up Mike Reese's question about uh, Chase Winovich. And uh, when you hear that you're going to be playing on the New England defense for um, Bill Belichick and you're going to be playing alongside the likes of uh, Dante Hightower, Devin McCourty, uh, what does that uh, inspire in you when you think of those those type of things? It inspires the greatness. I mean, that, those, those names right there just, you know, spews greatness right there. And, 
you know, I played, I, I was playing with the Patriots on Madden for like the last couple of weeks and just seeing how efficiently things run and the weakness of the defense and stuff like that. I mean, you know, everyone does their job. Everyone, you know, everyone's very logical, is very disciplined. And, you know, just when you say those two names, it inspires me to be great. Thank you. Uh, next, next question, Alan Siegel, uh, followed by Ian Steele. Welcome to New England, Josh. Uh, Don Brown has a habit, has a history of uh, hard-charging defenses and really charging hard, and your reputation is for a hard-charger with a hard hitter. question I have for you, though, in the pros in terms of versatility, are you confident in your ability to learn the pro defense in terms of being able to get out in coverage with pro receivers? Most definitely. I, you know, I have the utmost confidence in myself. And, you know, a lot of guys don't know how complex Coach Brown's defense is. You know, there's so many different depths to it and levels to it and a bunch of different plays and checks and, you know, different formations you got to do different things with. And, you know, I, I definitely feel prepared, you know, for what's to come because Coach Brown is the best in the business and he makes sure his players get, get ready. Thanks, Josh. Uh, next question, Ian Steele, followed by Doug Hyde. Hey, Josh, congratulations. Welcome to New England. Thank you so much. Uh, I work out of Providence, Rhode Island, and uh, Chris Merritt is the head coach at Bryant University down here. Uh, he was your high school coach. Uh, tell me about what, what he taught you uh, that kind of got you to the player and the level that you are today. I mean, I could tell you a story right now. I mean, um, I was about, you know, I was a sophomore. I had just transferred to Christopher Columbus High School. And, um, you know, I had a pretty good spring, you know, but um, I saw a bunch of my teammates getting all these college letters and flyers in the mail, and I was getting upset that I wasn't getting any. You know, I was getting angry. I kept asking every single day, did any mail come in? Did any mail come in? And then finally, he got so sick of it, you know, he scratched off, you know, another kid on the team's name who was, his name was Josh as well. He got one of his letters, scratched off his last name, and wrote mine on there. Gave it to him. I looked at it. I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you know, it, it threw me off, but it taught me to work even harder. You know, it, it put a tip on my shoulder. And, you know, by the end of that year, by my junior year, I had offers from Bama, Florida, Auburn. Yeah, that's really, you know, one, a memorable story I have to close Thank you. Uh, next question, Ian Steele, followed by Doug Hyde. Hey, Josh. Uh, welcome to the Patriots. Uh, you said Thank that you. you had been playing uh, with the Patriots on Madden for the last few weeks. Did you yeah. sort of know that this, this pick might have been coming? I mean, I didn't uh, – I, I really didn't know. I just – I knew they were interested, and and we had watched a lot of this film. You know, being at Michigan, we did some things that they did on defense as well. We implemented into our system. But – um. I just would play, I would play with every team on Madden, use their defense, see how their defense works and stuff like that. And if I got back to the Patriots a, a couple of times, and I played with their, you know, their uh, defense a couple of times. So. And then just real quickly, I know you played off the line at Michigan and on the line. Uh, did teams sort of want you to do both roles in the NFL, uh, one more, one role more than the other? Uh, was there anything specific on that? This is whatever. You know, the coaches need me to do. That's all it is. Whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do it to my best, to the best of my ability. Two final questions. We have Andrew Callahan, followed by Henry McKenna. Hey, Josh, again, congratulations on, on getting drafted. Uh, I, I'm Thank curious you. if you could take us through, you know, the number of times you were able to meet or talk with the Patriots during the process, and what, what were your chief takeaways when you when you got to speak with them? I mean, I didn't even, uh, I didn't have a formal with them at the combine. But I sat down with, uh, Coach Belichick's son. We talked for a little bit. And then, um, I talked with Coach Mayo on a virtual conference call. And that was about it. And I hadn't heard anything from the Patriots, you know, for a little minute. And then when I got the call, I was just like, I just, you know, knew that that was a, a perfect fit for me. You know, I, I just, I feel like, the Patriots are going to maximize everything that I have to offer. You know, they run a shift just like Coach Harbaugh does, or probably better and everything like that because it's the pros. But it's just a blessing, man. I, I mean, I, I knew they were interested, but I, I didn't know it was going to happen like this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question, Ian Steele, followed by Ian McKenna. 
Mm-hmm. And when you spoke with Coach Mayo, what, what were some of the things that you guys covered over that virtual call? Well, just a multitude of things. You know, you just, you know, got, got into, you know, talking about myself, my, uh, you know, my life, my family, and stuff like that. And last question, Hunter, your fans. Hey, Josh. Uh, welcome to New England. Um, I, I wondered, um, you just you just noted, actually, um, you know, how you feel like this is a really nice fit for you. Can you dive a little bit deeper into that? Can you tell me a little bit about, like, maybe why your strengths might be well-suited, why you think maybe the Patriots uh, ended up drafting you? I would say it's a good fit for me because I'm a hard-ass worker, and the Patriots work their asses off. So, you know, that's first and foremost. And, you know, just, you know, the Patriots themselves are just very unique, very diverse, very dynamic, and they do a bunch of different things, and I feel like that's who I am as a football player. And I just feel like it's definitely a perfect fit.